Hey guys, what is up? I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a uh, outro in Adobe After Effects. Now, what you're gonna want to do is you make the new composition and do that stuff. So then you're gonna go up here onto your like tools tab. You might have it like over down here or something, but I have mine up here. Oh great, what did I do? <laughs> no. Uh. Alright, fix it. Uh, so, I'll just go up here, click the rectangle mode. For the stroke, you can have it really anything. It doesn't matter. I'm going to set it to like a darkish blue. So it just kind of looks pretty cool. Uh, then you're going to want to go down here onto this little thing and set the grid. You could have it... Uh, you could have the proportional grid set up. This just is... I think the regular old grid is easier to use. Uh, so I'm going to set up the thing right here on that line and then go to that line right there. So that's from the first to the one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth and third or the fourth down. Uh, so click right here and go like that. But that's not where it is at. That is. There. Yeah. Alright, so you got that done. Now, you can uncheck the proportional grid if you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Now, I'm going to go and I'm going to go grab a picture that I have on my computer. Uh huh. Let's use my background picture. Ah, that didn't work. Forgot. You got to go that. Or wait. No, let's add the background picture first. So I'm going to add a galaxy type thing to the background. So it looks pretty cool. And then, uh,. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go up here, click right here, say like previous video. You guys can't see it right now because of my font I have. Highlight over it. Uh, scroll up. Set it to the Batman forever so you guys can actually see it. I don't know. Now, you're probably going to want to use... Well, the music, you're prob. I add the music in Sony Vegas. Like, I render it out in Sony Vegas. Like, I render out... The, God, it's hard to explain. I render out the video, or the thing, and then I drag it into Sony Vegas, and then render it out. So it makes it as a smaller uh, file. Like, f smaller size I guess what you could call it like because usually when you render it, it's like five gigabytes or something when you render it out in Sony Vegas it takes it down to like three megabytes so yeah it's uh it's a giant difference uh so then just click here and click like next video that's not at all uh click that Bring it down, make it a little bit lower. Oh, it's the one thing I hate about it. After Effects is when you kind of like move one thing around, like when you try and resize, it resizes the whole thing, even though you really want to just make it a tad bit bigger, not like everything about the thing bigger, as you guys just saw. Oh crap! I scrolled in. Uh, see so if you scroll in, it just zooms in and zooms out. So you got that done. Uh, so what you can do, what I'm going to do actually, uh, vids, uh, add that to there, add that to there. Wait, 
that was wrong. Or the shape layer. And then this will be your last video that you made that you put there. So that looks good and then you can like grab a thing off of the internet because I don't have the thing anymore because I haven't really made a uh, an outro in a long time since I don't really use outros nor intros uh, because I don't do it I don't know it's hard to explain uh, once this loads Opera, stop. 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 Drinking some Mountain Dew. Got that voltage. So then you're just going to type in like error or error sign. That's, how, that's not how you spell error. I realized. Or wait, no. I know something that'll be way easier to do right now. Uh, go right here, click error. Space, 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 space. 404. Delete, delete, delete. Click. Just drag it into there, so it's like error because the next video hasn't came out yet. Uh, and then what you're gonna want to do is like when you're using the YouTube editing thing, put annotations on these so that like people can click them or have links down in the description. I'm kind of telling you how to run this thing, uh, how to run your channel, but you know what I'm talking about. Do I have caps locks? No, I thought I had caps locks on for a second because of the name of that. Uh, so, then also you can put, like, go up to the text font, or the thing, be like, subscribe, because I'm a pushy bastard, no, uh, subscribe to be part of the TNT army. Click here, space it to the middle so it looks good. Uh, click that, click that. Now you got this set up there in the middle, I believe. I don't know. You can always check with the grid. Uh, so space it over to the middle. Now this is an informational video, well, a tutorial video on how to make an, an outro, not how to make your channel better because <laughs> I've been saying a bunch of stuff about channels but whatever so uh, you basically got this you can add different stuff uh, like in Speedy's video he also has like Twitter things right here so say if you wanted to do that hey look everything <laughs> popped up uh, you could go back and if you don't know who K well, hey, look, Speedy is it's KYR Speedy if you don't know who KYR Speedy is, uh, go look him up. He's awesome. Now just add it to your project thing. If I can ever not locked. Crap. 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 Projects. Click. Slide that over into there. Slide that over into there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Alright, and then you can slide that down there. And then say. Ah, no. No. Do do do. You could jazz it up, and you don't have to have these right there. 
Uh, you can add them in different places uh, around the the perimeter, I guess you could call it. I don't know. Uh, around the screen. Uh, and then you can basically lay it out. This was just showing you how to work with the rectangle tools to make somewhat of a... Uh, of a outro, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And then you can also uh, say control, I believe it was. No, it wasn't what it is. Uh, you could also have it fade in and fade out. I I personally use, uh, use Sony Vegas. I just render it all out, add in the sound, the music, whatever. If you don't have the music, you can figure out how to add music just by, like, adding music I guess I don't know saves see cuz I usually just use uh, use After Effects for uh, for miscellaneous stuff like making uh, making outros cuz it's kinda easier to make outros in Sony well in After Effects than it is in Sony Vegas cuz like this right here would take you forever in Sony Vegas I mean at least it would take me forever in Sony Vegas I don't know about you guys, but then to render it as last video, I just go to composition, add to render queue, render queue, uh, click down here. This will open up, just find the file place that you want to save it into. So, like, you could just set it as desktop, and then click enter, and then just like click render. I'm gonna click stop because I don't want to render it. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's basically how to make a, a outro and after effects you can do a bunch of other stuff to it to make it look pretty uh if you guys made an awesome one send me a link down to it uh well a link to it down in the description or not in the description what am i talking about the comments box below uh see you guys in the next video